everyone, it's uh, Rod here from Bushcom. We're here to talk about um, the Mil2 uh, True Broadband Tactical Antenna. And we're also going to do an on-air test with this antenna and we're going to be using a tactical dipole um, mask to set the antenna up. Now obviously this is, comes in great handy when there's nothing to erect the antenna over. So we'll start by showing you what comes with the kit. Um, the kit comes with uh, five metres of uh, coaxial cable. Once again, in typical of military uh, Bushcom product, all connectors are, are blacked out to stop light reflection. And the antenna itself we have here. Both of the main radiators are on these hand winders. You can see the centre feed point and ballon here and the loads on both sides of the antenna. Now this is a true broadband antenna, there is no tuner required and the antenna will work between 3.5 and 30 megahertz so it's a, it's a very very simple dipole arrangement um, obviously aimed to be very simple uh, to get up and get working. Now the main radiators are made out of Kevlar wire which is resistant to, um, to aging and to stretching and all those sort of problems. So we'll just move that to one side for a moment and we'll unroll the mast head, the, uh, the, the mast head itself. Now, as you can see, it comes in a nice carry bag, nice and easy to transport, and we open the pack up like that, and we can see all the components. So the main poles are here at the top of the poles. These ridges here stop a common problem that I'm sure a lot of people have seen of once you stick the pole together, you can't get them apart. Now, obviously, if you're out on deployment, you need to be able to get these things back apart so they can go back into the pack. Um, we have the, the ground stake here, which is also basically what the, what the, uh, the masthead is built on top of. The top of the, the, top of the pole here, for attaching the ballon with the carabiner. We have three uh, uh, pegs and guy wires are here. Once again, everything is on nice and easy hand winders as typical of Bushcom military products. And we have a hammer here for driving everything into the ground. So with that being said, everything here is designed to be packed up nice and portable. Uh, to be nice and easy to transport and to basically be able to you know get it out of your man pack and have it put up um, You know and working within minutes and that's what the products are all about. So um, we'll be back in a moment We're actually going to uh, set this one up and deploy it now. We've got a Barrett uh, PRC 2090 military radio here and uh, Once we get it all going we'll uh, we'll be back and we'll have a quick on-air test back in a minute Okay, uh, we're back now. We've, um, we've set the antenna up. In fact, if you believe, looking at the shot that you're seeing now, there is a 48 metre long uh, true broadband dipole antenna in this shot. And uh, one thing I should mention is being a, uh, being a true dipole, the antenna doesn't require a ground, which is great if you're out of an area where getting, uh, getting a ground, ground plane is an issue. Now, moving back towards the end of the antenna where we are, we'll start with... Um, the hand winders, which the antenna, this half of the radiator was wound on, has now just been tied around this tree, it's only about a foot off the ground. You can see the uh, insulator at the end there and the Kevlar wire. And we move fairly quickly back to the centre of the antenna. And you'll probably notice that um, you have to get in fairly close to the antenna to actually see it. There's the load there we're just passing because obviously one of the important features of the antenna is to make it as hard as possible to see. Now we've erected this antenna as an inverted V on the top of the 5 metre mast. Um, the mast uh, took us uh, about 10 minutes to erect um, and I must be honest, having not, one, not done one before, I'm sure somebody trained could probably do it a little bit quicker. Now, at the starting at the bottom of the antenna, you'll notice the coax cable has got uh, little Velcro tie points up the up the antenna. Now, getting back towards getting back towards the top of the antenna, you'll see the guy wire plate. Uh, we've put three guy wires into the ground, and right at the top of the antenna, the ballon is suspended on a black carabiner. So with that being said, we've now got a 48 metre long inverted V true dipole, true broadband antenna. 
Now, just moving down to the ground, we've got uh, a Barrett PRC 2090 military radio. And we're just going to do a little quick on-air test. Uh, we're going to do a beacon call on around 10 meg uh, into a base station about 900 kilometres away. So I will just do that. And you should be able to hear that on your screen. Data going through now. And a nice strong reverative. So there you have it. That's just a, a quick test. Um, this, this is you know, true military product. Um, they are available from Bushcom. They are fully made in Australia. And uh, thanks for watching.